Watts with a kick twisting toward the far pylon. Orlando Waters looking for room in the middle. Coming to the near side, and he's running out of room, and he will be grabbed out of bounds at the 14-yard line. There's a penalty flag on the play, sitting back at the 12. Blocking below the waist, on the run back, half the distance, first down. On second down and nine, it's Malone again. He gets across the 10, out to the 12-yard line. The Alabama multiple defense. A third down for the Razorbacks. They're 16 of 32 on third down this year. Quick opener. Close to a first down. It'll depend where they spot it. Barry Lunny completing 63% of his passes so far. 48% last year as a freshman. He will option left and keep turning it upfield. And he's over the 25-yard line. Back split, Lunny looking to throw, and he is taken down. And guess who it is? Jeremy Nunley. So he's going to have to have a big year for them at Alabama. Doyle Preston, 38 yards a kick, and he will be taken down as they mishandle the snap. Jay Barker, the 6'3 junior out of Trussville, Alabama, on the field. He will toss it in the eye. Sherman Williams, he is headed down to the five-yard line. Second and goal from the four. Triple backs again. Lunny, or rather Barker, keeping, and Ford's got him. The quarterback couldn't get him into the end zone, so Michael Proctor, two out of five, and he's got the chip shot. Chris Donnelly, former SEC Freshman of the Year. Just a fantastic secondary. Third down and seven. Lunny wobbles one ahead to Malone. He escaped one tackle, and he is out evidently far enough for the first down. Second and seven play as the Razorbacks work out of the eye. Lunny quickly left side, and pulling it down there is Tracy Caldwell, the split end. Big play for his defense. Third down and one for the Razorbacks. And forget it, Alabama infiltrating quickly. And the left footer, a wobbly spiral down to the 18. Palmer looking outside, Razorbacks had him measured well. A 42-yard kick. Parker turns around, nobody there, so Tarrant Lynch blocks for him. And he gets out to the 34-yard line. The best busted play of the afternoon. Brian Deal, a junior, averaging 38 yards a kick. And he will keep it on a fake punt. Here he comes. And he is close and out of bounds for the first down. At Alabama, 47. They're moving Palmer all over the place. Parker to give to Williams, who cuts it up. Misses two, three tackles, and he's inside the 40. On first down, Barker with play action. Lots of time. Razorbacks don't know where he is. Now he throws it and completes to the fullback, Tarrant Lynch. Third down and one, just inside the 30. Tarrant Lynch makes a cut, and he's got the first down. Drive kept alive. This is the 11th play as Barker goes with play action and looks right side. Tarrant Lynch, touchdown, Bama! Razorbacks down by 10. Lunny, pump fake, up top, left side, intercepted! Antonio Langham, he's done again! Inside the 20, he will score! Woo! Proctor with another extra point coming up. And the Bama defense puts points on the board. And the Razorbacks recover on a rather weird play as Brian Deal, the holder, was not looking when the ball was snapped. First play of the second quarter, and Alabama has shocked Arkansas, leading 16-0. Taken at the 17 by Orlando Waters. He's got some room up the near side, 
And he's out to near the 45-yard line. Doyle Preston, the Arkansas kicker, low snap. He spirals it high in the air. David Palmer catching it at his own 11. No room, and he's knocked down for negative yardage. Second and five, another deep give to Williams. First down, and he's out over the 30-yard line. Palmer also coming back for the ball, but Ireland stayed with Lynch this time. Brian Neal kicking this time. It's a good deal for Alabama. Way back there, Orlando Waters. He will cut it straight up at about the 35-yard line for the explosive Waters. Very mixed emotions. Um, I'm sitting with the recruits for Alabama next year, and so I have to hold all my emotions in for Arkansas right now, but I am pulling for that also. But you're proud of your dad, aren't you? Very proud. I think he's done very well. Third down and 12 of the 44. And running hard to the near side is Marius Johnson. There's a flag on the sideline. Might have been a late hit by Sam Shade. Malone. And it appears he has the first down. He had to get the nose of the football right to the 25-yard line. He's a good basic, a good technique teacher. Malone has it again. Makes a good cut to the outside. Trying to get around the corner. And he will be inside the five-yard line. Cole, the motion man. Heber pulled down from behind by Eldred Brown. Third and goal from the eight. Three wide receivers. Money, time, sack. Ball on the ground. It is evidently a live ball, and Arkansas recovered it. Lance Ellison near hash, a 25-yarder. Botkin the snapper, Jason Allen the holder. A rather sideways spiral. Line shot, it's good! But he hit it right through and Arkansas is on the board. When playing legally, his teams moved the ball and played defense very well. On first down, Sherman Williams out over the 25. They only returned one guy from their defensive front. Henry Ford. Williams, big hole! Out to the 48-yard line. But I think this year they have the quarterback that can overcome those losses there. Barker on second and 12, swings it out right side. Brian Steger, the young freshman. Sherman Williams approaching 100 yards now for the third consecutive week. He's the lone back. And he's got 100 yards already as he gets down inside the 35 of Arkansas. On third and one, Tarrant Lynch, the fullback. Hurdles! There he goes! Inside the 10! Down to the 5 and maybe the 4. I'm giving Arkansas a chance to keep Alabama out of the end zone. First and goal at the 4, Williams escapes. J.J. Metters and Cotto Cotton, the men back for Arkansas, to receive the William Watts Alabama kickoff. He'll twist it near side, and Metters, the wide receiver at the five. Nothing up the sideline. Flag on the play. He's down inside the 20. Danny Ford needs one of his drives right here. <laughs> Returning team, half the distance, first down. David Palmer. Should give the tie great field position after this Doyle Preston punt. The left footer, end over end, gets a good bounce. Palmer right at midfield. Up the middle. He might go. Far side. And he's pulled down from behind. First down at the 16. Parker looking for Palmer. Touchdown. Orlando Waters is the man that was beaten. Come a couple of things go wrong and you just get, can't get it turned in time. Second down and five. Lunny. And that one pulled down in good fashion by Kirk Botkin. As the first half comes to a close on this play. Harry Lunny rolling. He's got Caldwell up the sidelines. Waves him long. And he shoots it over into the Alabama bench. And the first half is over.
Dean Stallings' defense and special teams coming up huge in the first half here in Tuscaloosa. Alabama leads it 30-3 over Barry Lunny and the Arkansas Razorbacks. David Palmer back around his own five. Let's see where Ellison places it. High in the air. Palmer backed into his own end zone about four yards deep, and he'll think about it. Here he comes. He's got some room out there on the right side. He's over the 30, approaching midfield. You know, I mean, they're thinking, well, we won this one. Let's move on to the next week. Third and 13, Parker with time, intercepted. Orlando Waters has it, and he comes to the near side. He'll be pulled down around his own 45-yard line. Doyle Preston on the kick. <laughs> Hangs this one up nicely. He looks for a bounce, but before it can bounce, it sails out of bounds. Alabama with Louisiana Tech next week. Then they go to South Carolina. A big one here on the 16th of October when Tennessee comes in. If the ball arrived, he wasn't probably going to catch it. He can catch the football now, and he's going to be a fine, fine receiver in the NFL. Parker on third down, man open, and the ball is caught by Chad Key. Backs are split, Williams and Lynch on fourth and 12. Parker getting a lot of time to throw the ball until this play, and getting his way through to make the tackle was Vernon Wade. He's been battling that. A great guy, linebacker, coach. We all wish him well. Royal Preston with a low line drive. And that gives Palmer some room to operate. Trying to escape, but he ran into a scrum of players at the 38-yard line. Well, this your first game back since you've been in Buffalo, huh? Definitely. It's the first time here, and it's a strange feeling being out on this field. Last time I was here, it was much hotter with the Astro turf being on the field. <laughs> but the, the Alabama defense looks the same as you were playing, doesn't it? Definitely. Um, you know, I think people are kind of looking for us uh, to have a let up this year, but um, those Dubos and those guys in the defense have done, have done a great job with these young kids out there. Cornelius Bennett of the Buffalo Bills here back to see his Crimson Tide team. Parker took a face mask on that first play. Alabama then gets a handoff to Sherman Williams and continues to move the football down the field against Arkansas. And that's an amazing job. But they're facing a bit of a different style team today. Dick Tarrant Lynch grinding it out there. That front of Matt Hammond, John Clay, Toby Shields. Parker for Williams. There he goes again. He's inside the 20. In practice the other day, he was having a little trouble. But he seems to be... Uh, Regaining his stride here this afternoon. Punter Brian Deal, the holder. It is perfect off the snap of Matthew Pine. And he's got a couple today. Alabama leading here at home 33-3 to kick it off with 3.16 to go. Third quarter. William Watts, the kickoff man. And the return guy is Orlando Waters. Starting from his own six hurdles. One blocker. And we've got a flag again. Illegal block in the back. On the return, White, after this is the goal line, first down. Lunny with a pitch. That is Dexter Hebert, and the ball is on the ground, and Alabama has it. Another successful outing, and today Jay will set the record for the most consecutive wins by a quarterback in the SEC right at 20. 31-yard attempt by Michael Proctor, and he's got another one. He's just well-respected by his teammates. William watched the kickoff man. Orlando Waters inside his five-yard line, near side, looking straight up the sideline, got an opening, and he just runs out of room at the out-of-bounds line. They have been unscored upon in the third quarter. Alabama's outscored their opponents 12-0 third quarter this year. Pass complete, straight ahead to the tight end, Kirk Botkin. We have a flag at the 40-yard line. The yardage gain of the play, enough to move the chains, but <laughs> David Palmer averaging eight yards a return coming into today. He has improved those numbers, and there's a shake by Preston off the side of his foot. Not much yardage to be gained on that one. Bergdorf again at the controls of the tie. 
once again. Down to the 36 and a half yard line. Second down and six. And fighting for yardage is Steger down the sideline. Out of bounds at the seven. 26 yards in the play. Sets up a first and goal at the seven. Bergdorf optioning left. He cuts it up and he scores. Doyle Preston will kick it for Arkansas from his own eight, and he launches one way back. 29-yard line. Palmer trying to find the handle hit on the play, and he manages to keep his hands on the football. They are by far the owners of the nation's longest losing streak. It's not, or rather, winning streak. It's not even close. And there goes that freshman again, Brian Steger. Third down and 17. Bergdorf looking right side. He's hit. Ball is on the ground. And who has it? Henry Ford is the one that hit it. Arkansas has the football. Arkansas is going to try to score here on fourth and 13. They can get a first down without scoring. And the pass is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Kirk Botkin. Ryan Dio about to kick it to Orlando Waters. This is a beauty. It is over Waters' head. Bouncing around inside the 30. And he'll get it out to around the 36, the 37-yard line. Brian Deal's previous long punt this year, 48 yards against Tulane, scratched that one out. A 60-yarder there. Mike Cherry, redshirt freshman, is the Arkansas quarterback. And he stands in there and completes one straight ahead. Kurt Butkin, the tight end. Caught more passes than any tight end in Arkansas history. Top 10 of all their wide receivers. Gary, same guy. And Jerry waiting. Now he's got running room out that right side. Cuts it up inside. And he'll get down beyond the 35-yard line. Fourth and 18. Jerry ducking over to the left side, trying to throw on the run. He rifles one complete to Caldwell, but he's out of bounds. And then he really took a hit. Steger off the left side. They're trying to rip the ball out of his hands. He's just too strong for everybody out there. There he goes again. Across midfield, first down into Arkansas territory. Tulsa, a non-conference school over the years of the Razorbacks, and they finish up at LSU like they did last year, at least against LSU. Brian Steger busting another one for a first down. First down at the 34. And then the first man through is number 35, Marcus Mooring for Alabama. Well, we heard that he was not happy after a practice on Thursday. And now you know why. They must not have been ready to play a team like this. And you can't fault the coach for that all the time. Well, we're down to the final 10 seconds. Alabama will go 3-0 and win its 26th consecutive game with a decisive 43-3 win here in Tuscaloosa today. That will do it. And Gene Stallings is now 34 and 6 at the helm of the Crimson Tide. We're back with some words from Tuscaloosa in a minute.